Hey everyone, welcome back to Chosko. Today we are going to learn an easy new way to avoid the Taishia Joseki. The Taishia Joseki is a famous 3-5 point pattern known as the Joseki of thousands of variations. And it's commonly regarded as one of the most difficult Joseki. It's the source of numerous complicated moves and new variations are found on a regular basis. Taisha is an old form for large knight move, and now it's replaced with Ogema in Japanese. This specific jump is shortened for Taisha Joseki, and it has survived in the context. The standard response of white to Taisha is this attachment to disconnect black, and black wedges, white ataris, black cuts, White saves the stone, black blocks the corner, and white pushes. It's a familiar sequence, isn't it? From here, there are literally thousands of variations may occur in this position. It's very unpredictable and volatile. For instance, let me show you the variation occurred in a pro game played between Shinjinsu 9P and Kang Dong 9P yesterday. They start fighting like this. And here, white attaches the corner. After black response for the corner, white connects to resume the fight. White starts crawling on the second line, like this. And black harness to make a sente. It's too complicated and overwhelming even for me. So a lot of players prefer avoiding this kind of complicated versions, including myself. And in order to find out how to do that, I asked AI. And I got the answer. So before finding out the answer, let's take a look at what we used to play to avoid the complications. The first way that we used to do is after this attachment, Atari, connect on the other side. This way, white sacrifices the corner and capture the outside stone in exchange. And to do this, the letter must work for white. And now it works for white. And the standard Joseki is that black makes one space jump, white captures, and black captures too. This Joseki is considered even and it's playable for white. But AI says black can get a better result in this situation. AI thinks that black should Atari from behind and extends here. The first time I saw this, I was like, what? But thinking over it, I think maybe it's right. Because white is hane is not severe, black is hane underneath, and the corner is clean. Black takes the initiative. This white sword is not that strong, and it could be even attacked by like A later if black gets strength outside. All right, then let's take a look at the second way we used to do this attachment. It's another Joseki move played in real games many times. But the reason why some people don't like this move is that black gets a really strong wall like this. And make a big framework on the left side. Also, it could turn into another complicated variation if black extends down like this. I'm not saying these variations are bad for white. I'm just saying white can play much simpler and easier. So we took looks at what we used to do to avoid the complications of Taisha. And now let's find out the new way that AI teaches us. It's this knight move. Surprising, right? We humans haven't played this move for a long time. 
because it's slow with the low position and most importantly it feels like a weak compromise but AI has no feeling and says why not this so again I thought hard about it and come to see that it actually makes a lot of sense alright now let's see what black can play in response to this low light move the first instinct as black is this diagonal move white attaches and makes a diagonal move too this variation is actually fine for white and it's easier to see that if we reverse the sequence of the variation to analyze it's like in the beginning Blank makes one space jump, which is very weak and passive. White gets this sente, which is good. And make a two space jump, which is another good move. Here this exchange is a bit better for black, because white is supposed to just block right away. But I don't think the benefit of this exchange pays for the slow move of A. That being said, this result is in favor of white. So continuing from here, if blank makes the extension on the left side, white will invade at 3-3 three, three, and it will be like this. If I were white, I would definitely feel comfortable playing. How about you? Black's wall is not that strong compared to other ones and white is quite solid. If black attaches here, white is happy to extend to take the corner and it's clearly better for white. So what black can try is this attachment and white the harness. And if black extends down, white counters with the attachment and connect here. Black has to connect and white attaches again. Here black has to extend because if black harness instead, white's tiger mouse is good and the result will be bad for black. So white captures after black extends and it's playable for white. Another move black can try is this diagonal move to steal white in. But white can actually get out and even counter attack. White now attaches here and we can find that black is not able to wedge here because black cannot cut here next. So instead, um, black has to just extend here and take the corner. Here the sequence is very important for white. White should Hane here first and Hane on this side. After black blocks, a double harness, which is the perfect combination. Black cannot cut and capture because the three stones of black are dead. So black's best play is Atari and cut here. Then the variation goes like this. This variation is favorable for white because this Pomnuki is scented for white. After black captures, white takes the approach. Now as you can see what is ahead with the initiative. Then what would be black's best play against this knight move? AI says it's actually Tenuki and play some mirrors like this. It's because even if white plays first in this local situation like this, black can extend here and take the corner. I can say white didn't gain any profits by touching there. So it's like even if one side plays first in the top left corner, it's difficult to expect a good outcome. Therefore AI says it's better to Tenuki. That being said, white also should play some mirrors like this and it becomes a very comfortable opening for white. Alright. Today we learned an easy new way to avoid the Taisha Joseki and the following variations. I strongly recommend that you try this move if you want to avoid the complications of Taisha. If you have any further questions regarding the move, please leave comments and ask me.
So that's it for today. If you have any requests for the topics or anything you'd like to see, feel free to leave comments and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed this video, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. I'll really appreciate it. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.